I'm here with Chad Salma. He's the uh, head coach of the College of College Saint Saint Scholastica. Scholastica and also um, for, uh, former and probably future Olympic announcer. Yeah. Um, what are you What are you working on this morning? Well, uh, conditions are pretty much almost identical. It's a couple degrees colder, but the snow is pretty much the same, which is really nice because we've been working all week on glide for the classic races. Yep. So basically what we're doing is we've gone with uh, pretty pretty much just based on what we've tested so far this week, we're going with uh, same base layer, same under layer. Mm -hmm. But we're retesting. It's a little colder. We're going to retest the... Uh, the floral possibilities with our for our guys, mm -hmm. but by the 20s, we think what most of the people went on yesterday is probably going to run for in the 20s once the women start. So this is basically a confirmation. You can see it's not really busy out here. Yep. I think a lot of people are thinking on the same lines as us because they're not too frantic. So uh, it's, it's really just a confirmation. And if we find something new, then we're we're better off than we were. What do you think about the format? Like, you got do you have folks skiing in the 20, 30k? Yeah, races? yeah, I. I, I I, I agree with her decision. I mean, I gave my input. I th I was thinking three days ago a mass start here would be absolutely insane and probably not fair. I think this is the fairest way to conduct a national championship in, under the conditions, so I, I'm all for it. you tell your kids anything special today as far as, like, how they, to go out and ski? Ski better than yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had a rough day yesterday, so... Uh, but I think that I think uh, we're, we're a stronger skate team in general. We work really hard on our classic, but classic conditions were really challenging yesterday. The snow was shearing off on the kick zones, and you know when you've got less experienced classic skiers, they're not going to know the difference. We, you know, they're not going to really know how to feather their kick for that stuff. So, this is our strong suit. Uh, just hoping that they're going to have a better race than yesterday, and that's really all you can do at this point. How are you going to keep track of laps? We've actually got a book. One of our my assistant coach is going to stand out there. We're going to have a feed zone up on top of the hill before they come into the stadium, <laughs> and uh, we're basically got 11, 11 grids. We're going to check them off, and then uh, we'll have to go to the finish one, and we'll know we'll, we'll we'll pass that information along. I know people yesterday with six laps were having trouble. So yeah. So with and and 11 being an odd number, that's uh, I think that's probably a smart move for us to do as coaches. Fair enough. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> All right. We'll see. You.